All right, guys, we've got our staffs in our hand. We're down here by the stream. We need five smooth stones. Let's see what we can find, guys. Let's see what we can get. Yeah, that's a smooth stone. Oh, yeah. That's a good one for a blasphemer. Right there. Hello, scripture of the day. Today, we're going to answer the question that people have been talking about for thousands of years. Why did David really kill Goliath? Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you down and cut off your head, and I will give the dead bodies of the host of the Philistines this day to the birds of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel, and that all this assembly may know that the Lord saves not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. Today's chapter is 1 Samuel 17. And for 3,000 years, people have been telling the story of David and Goliath. A lot of people talk about it when there's a sports matchup where one team's an underdog versus a heavy favorite. Sometimes people use this story as like an inspirational pep talk that you can face your giants. A lot of people telling the story of David and Goliath. A lot of people missing the point. Let's make sure we don't miss the point in today's scripture of the day that David killed Goliath for the glory of God. He said that he came to fight the giant in the name of Yahweh and he wanted all the earth to know there is a God in Israel. Now the key word of 1 Samuel 17 is this word defied. That's what David accuses Phil the Philistine Goliath of when he says you've defied the armies of Israel. And when Goliath was out there talking trash, you know, like the Philistines versus the Israelites, it was really Goliath talking trash, like the Philistine God was gonna defeat Yahweh, the God of Israel. And, and Goliath, he starts talking this trash all the way back in verse 10. He defies the armies of Israel. And when David comes to visit his brothers, when he leaves the sheep, and he comes to the battlefield and he hears Goliath come out and do his trash talking against God, David has a strong reaction. You see, this is what it really means to be a man or a woman after God's own heart. You are jealous for his name to get the glory. You are zealous for God to be known. And that's what David is. He tells the other soldiers around him, I, he's defying us. He's de this uncircumcised Philistine is defying the armies of Israel, the armies of our God. He tells King Saul that he must fight him because he has defied the armies of Israel. And then he says it to his face. So the, to the boy, the youth, says it to the face of the giant that you have defied the armies. And he gets a stone and he throws it out his head and he stones him as a blasphemer against God. So go through 1 Samuel 17 and see how many times it says that Goliath defied God. How many times does David bring it up? What you will read there is what it looks like to have a zeal for the glory of God, to have a passion burning within you, that you want God's name to be hallowed. Let me tell you, if you want to do something with your life that's going to matter in a thousand years, then you better do it for the glory of God. Let's take a deeper dive into the conversation between David and Saul. We're talking about the old king on his way out and the new king that has been anointed. And Saul says to David, you can't fight Goliath. You're just a youth. He looks down on his youthfulness. And here's what we need to learn. 
If we're gonna end up defeating giants for the glory of God, we're gonna have to be faithful to do the little things for the glory of God first. Because even though David is young, he immediately has a great answer for King Saul. Your servant used to keep sheep for his father. Yeah, when they left me out of the party with Samuel and I was out there watching sheep, let me tell you what kind of job I've been doing watching those sheep. See, when there came a lion or a bear and they took a lamb from the flock, I went after him and struck him and delivered it out of his mouth. And if he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and struck him and killed him. I love that. I love that picture of, hey, David's here watching the sheep. Here comes a serious predator like a lion or a bear taking one of those sheep and David's just grabbing that lion by its mane, slapping it around a little bit, getting that sheep back, grabbing the beard of the bear and saying, what are you doing taking one of my sheep? See, he's already been faithful in watching the sheep. He's already been fighting predators to defend the sheep. He's been faithful in the little things. And then he says this, your servant has strunk down both lions and bears, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be like one of them, for he has defied the armies of the living God. And David said, Yahweh, who delivered me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear, will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. See, the Bible is so clear that everything, whatever we do, even, even daily things like eating and drinking, they should all be done for the glory of God. So if God's gonna use you to tell his glory for 3,000 years, if he's gonna let use you so all Israel, all the earth knows there's a God in Israel, well, you're probably gonna need to do the little things today for his glory if he's gonna do a mighty work of his glory through you. And this is the beginning of the contrast that we're gonna see. See, the old king, Saul, the one who's been rejected, He's jealous, and David is jealous, but they're jealous for two completely different reasons. After David kills Goliath, Saul is gonna be jealous of the popularity, the fame, and how David is clearly on the rise in favor with God and men. Saul's gonna get so jealous of David that we're gonna be reading for chapters of Saul chasing David around the countryside into the wilderness, trying to kill him. David never once is going to fight Saul, try to kill Saul, because David is jealous for something else. Not his own glory, but the glory of God. And it started as a shepherd boy, started fighting those animals, and ended up killing a giant that the whole world knows about. What are you doing today for the glory of God? What are the little things in your life that you need to prove yourself faithful in? so that God can use you to do greater things for his glory. Because we have a great God who is greatly to be praised. I mean, just hiking through the narrows today, I can tell you we have seen the glory of the Lord. These great high rocks, these cliffs just towering above us, the cool stream beneath our feet. We have a glorious God. And we should be thinking about that with every step we take. You know, a great cross reference for today's scripture of the day would be in the Psalms, Psalm 57. And David's actually gonna write this Psalm later on when he's running away from Saul's jealousy. Even then, when Saul is trying to kill David in Psalm 57, David's still gonna be thinking about the glory of God. It seems like that's all David is ever thinking about. It's Psalm 57. Hey, there's a chorus that comes up over and over again. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. That'd be a great psalm for you to read through. Maybe you remember a certain Ryan Pierce song inspired by this song of David that David wrote when he was in some kind of cave, some kind of wilderness hideout with big rocks, kind of like where we are right now. He's in a cave and Saul's jealous trying to kill him, and David's still singing that same old song, his theme song about the glory of God. Hey, I want God to do something great with your life, but your life will not matter 
unless you're doing something, even the little things, for God's glory. And so let's take that to heart as we see how David was. It started way before he ever killed Goliath. It started out there when everybody else ignored him and overlooked him and looked down on his youthfulness out there with the sheep. That's where David started living for the glory of the Lord. And I'll see you for more right here on Scripture of the Day.